previously on the Lazy Geckos. I hope the anchor holds. <laughs> just took off after it, boom. I just wanna play in my bikini. <laughs> Jeez, I went from like, hot little bikini to this. I know. Oh yeah, let me know when I can play. Yeah, well right now, it doesn't look very fun. Actually, it could be fun if it yeah. wasn't like lightning and stuff. Are you serious? You go right back here. Yeah. Go for it. You can you can do it if you want. Oh yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I've been hoping for this moment. Gonna, I'm all excited. I'm gonna take your headset off. It's really not that bad. It's a nice little rain. Yeah. You're funny. You see lightning, run. Actually, just dive into the water. You'll be okay. Yeah, that's the last place I'm gonna dive. Ooh. All right. <gasps> Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Stand. Oh, I've been Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Since I played back here in the rain? Better not get zapped up there. No, come on, honey. You gotta live a little. <laughs> it's not even raining that hard. Yeah. We got caught in a thunderstorm, a really bad one. Um, we didn't realize it, but Brittany was naked the entire time we were filming. Huge lightning storm all around us, so came into the starboard aft cabin to kind of get away from the mast. I'm not gonna be able to use that, so she's getting dressed. But this thing, man, we came and did, it doesn't look near as bad now, it's actually past us. It was chasing us down, and uh, we barely got it hooked. Woo. Barely got it hooked, and then it hit. Um, it was pretty intense for a little bit there. Now, the storm is kind of getting away from us. There's another one in route over there. Right over there. But so far, we're doing all right. I was a little worried that we hadn't set. I mean, seriously, we just like burned it out, dropped it, and it was good. Brittany did a great job. Hello, see so you're wearing some clothes now. Yeah. These clothes would be nice to get wet in. They dry quick. Our anchorage that we originally wanted to go to was mm. about how many more miles? Eight, eight more miles away. Yeah. And uh, we're like debating. Oh, there's a storm. What way is it going? Just kind of hanging out. And then we made a call to come to this anchorage, which was pretty close. And um, as soon as we made that call, the storm like hauled it towards did. us. It just. I was like hovering, seeing it was supposed to kind of go northeast. And then when we started, it just bolted like 25 knots at us. Yeah, it's a massive uh, lightning storm. Oh, okay, so we got into the anchorage and dropped anchor right away. We didn't do a good set at all. We were just trying to get it on the ground before the storm came. Did the best we could. We've been holding, so that's great. I, it probably set itself oh, with the... Oh, dang. <laughs> I'm waiting for the big boom. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty far away. Yeah, it took a minute. It took, you know how to do it. You like, you go, you go one yeah. Mississippi, two yeah. Mississippi, three, and that's supposed to be three miles. So that was yeah. like probably five or six miles right there. Well, it was fun. Before the lightning storm happened, I was out here playing in the rain. I like it, it's living a little. Yeah, it's great. It's a disaster. It's a disaster around. Nothing, it's not bad. You think our neighbors are like, what are those people doing? Well, they, they like, saw us come into a burnout mood, and all of a sudden you're in the back doing a photo shoot. <laughs> Wait, wait, I mean... They're over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see them through there, but they're over there. This what is moments do? like oh. this that you'll remember. You gotta look at the positive, right? But uh, So we've been hunkering down in the... Hunkering down, it's just a freaking lightning storm, but we've been in the... Yeah, aft. but when you have a lightning rod sticking up in the sky. <laughs> so we went to the aft cabin, because it's furthest from the mast, and um, we're living the life through a porthole. You wanna see? Come mm. see my porthole.
The life of a porthole. Yeah. I'm always fascinated on how the view changes each day through Calypso's portholes. Big seas, calm anchorages, and so much more. It's okay. actually not, it's just sprinkling now. Yeah, now it's sprinkling. Oh, there's another one coming. I know. You just wait. Yeah, it looks like calm and beautiful over there. The sun's shining. It's like the eye. The eye of the storm. Oop. There you go. And then when you look this way, you see what's coming for no, you. No, boat. no, no, that's, that's what's going. That's oh. what's coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what's going. Oh, I'm backwards. We're leaving our headsets on just in case we do start dragging. That way we can communicate easily and they'll stay on as long as you're talking in them. You, I, I believe you can't just sit them down and leave them. I think they'll just shut off. So kept them on and um, whatever, just have fun with it. The boat's getting a wash down. That's a huge plus. We just went on an offshore passage, so it's salty. Uh, so it's getting her all nice and clean and at least we're not out on a passage with this. That's no fun. We've thrown our electronics in the microwave. This does work. Does it? We don't know. Does uh, it? Yeah, because our friends did it. Oh. And it worked. We've been told by other sources that during a storm you should put stuff in your microwave. So we put like hard drives, uh, emergency radios, I don't know what that's, laptops, stuff like that. And then this camera I'm using right here goes right here. So in you go. So we throw our stuff in the microwave besides my phone. I just want to play with it if I get a little bored. Uh, and we're just sitting here waiting it out. My only concern besides the boat is what we're going to eat tonight because I have steaks marinating and obviously we're not going to grow. We might if all this clears up. Yeah, if it clears up. Oh, lots of lightning coming. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw it. Oh yeah. See, that over there, what you see in the distance is coming over here. Hopefully it misses us. I got to look at the radar. Crap. That's not a very cool feeling. It took a while, but the clouds cleared and we were treated to a beautiful sunset. We had a couple of sundowners and settled in for a calm night. Naked. Uh, <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Why are you looking around? Are you worried? No. I was like, is there, is there people around? Well, for our sake, we are better you hope not. Naked this naked? Yeah, you requested naked. Do you have a different outfit that you request? No, uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> you look good. We're going naked. Alright. Are you ready? Today is Father's Day. Why not give the daddy in our family a treat? Having a little fun like this is easy in the morning or during nap time while our little guy sleeps. Just have to be careful with the goods while using this heavy equipment. This calm morning was so welcomed after yesterday's storm activity. It was a bit cooler as well, which is nice. We're pulling up anchor with our compass pointed north. Let's see, final thought so he can hear me in his headset. How's that for a morning wake up? It's gorgeous. It's always lovely watching you on the bow, but naked's even better. There you go. I'm like the luckiest dad in the world. Aw. It's kind of nice. I mean, it's dead calm. Yeah, it's very nice. Nobody's around. Beautiful. There's like so many woods, tall, tall trees, and then just little houses here and there. Yeah, it is very it's pretty. Gorgeous. Muddy anchor. Oof. Yeah, ridiculously muddy. I've, I'm starting to see a trend the more north we get a little bit more muddy here it gets. Yeah, definitely. But it's nice having that freshwater wash down. We also have a saltwater wash down, but something's not right. No, there. I just can't, I can't put the little hose, I can't hook the hose up, the little valve's sticking, so I just need to play with it. Don't get any ideas from that movie last night. <laughs> I don't have my headset in. Last night we watched a movie and the um, movie thing was talking about spanking the movie was talking about spanking so we just called him but he always says 
coming up on The Lazy Geckos. Well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. How's your pill assortment? Just slap a sticker on? Go for it. Slapping a sticker on. Nice. Not that it's fixed, but we have tried. I have an hour left of my watch. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. Luck on your first cruising adventure. Ah, thank you. Bluebirds. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. I thought I saw you coming, so I flipped it on. Here's your coffee. Thank you, baby. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're passing Billy Joel's estate. Get that first. If it lets loose, it's gonna probably plummet into our boat. They were under the bow already. Didn't really see the top at all. But oh, you're right in front of us, it's gone. Don't take me back! You can't take me back! Gonna turn north and probably put out the headset. Have a good time with it. Uh, put your butt. Put it right under your butt. You got your day to come back into New York? What do you think? Oh, what? Are you under some naked shots? Lovely. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.